I kind of knew it was coming. Um, you know, you hear lots of different rumors. I was kind of actually relieved that it got moved and not just canceled because that was my biggest fear was to hear the word canceled and not postponed. So i um, kind of relieved, disappointed. I mean, the girls have been working hard this summer and we're really excited. And so um, I just hope that we get a chance to be on the court no matter what time of the year it is. Yeah. So the announcement came out at like four o'clock on that Thursday. And then we actually had open gym that night at six. So um, I just kind of put it to him that way. Like, hey, look, we're still, you know, we still get to have a season. We can't, you know, lose that excitement. We just got longer to prepare. And that's how I'm trying to, to put it out to them is, you know, usually we would start now. Now we just add on six more months that we can prepare and come out even stronger. So um, I was a little nervous how practice would go that night just because I have quite a few seniors and, you know, a lot of girls are just excited about the season. And, um, but we practiced hard that night and you couldn't tell that anything had changed. So. Yeah, I was kind of, you know, I went back and forth, but um, the more I talked to different people, like when we're at the net, I mean, you're constantly at the net breathing, you know, within six inches of each other, standing at the net. Um, and I think the number of girls, I mean, with only having 50 people in the facility at a time right now for Illinois guidelines, I feel like that was a big factor. And I mean, we've got 40 plus girls on our, on our squad alone and then bring in another team, you know, so then you're looking at playing freshmen on a different night or you know, sophomores in one location, varsity in another to try and make all of that work out. And so I just think that, I mean, definitely we're not a contact sport, but I do feel like there is that, those uh, those chances for it to happen where you're going to have contact and, I mean, better be safe than sorry. You know, the girls haven't, or haven't complained or anything about having to wear a mask. As soon as I said, do you want to play with a mask? Everybody came back with, yeah, it wasn't a, no, 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 I didn't have any not one girl said they weren't going to come. So, but I'm hoping that by February, we don't have to wear them. And, yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, like we said, we're supposed to have regionals this year in P-Town. So we were really looking forward to that too. So I'm hoping again by February, that beginning of May, that things have calmed down a little bit so we can still have that postseason play. Right. You guys were very excited for the season. Yeah, we had 25 or more girls at all of our summer contacts and we were going three days a week. Um, yeah, so on Monday and Wednesdays we would train and do skill skill specific stuff and then on Thursday we come in and do an hour of six on six and we just kind of let them loose and let them play and have fun because yeah. and we kind of put it out there like you don't know when it's going to get taken away from you so we had some pretty competitive games going on on those Thursdays um, yeah. but yeah like we've had anywhere from 25 to 35 girls show up on any given night so we're pretty lucky with the amount of yeah. commitment that we have in the summer. Yeah. There's times in practice that I would look at my coaches and just like shake, you know, like what was that? We've never, you know, we've never started at that high of a level. And I think it's just, we're all comfortable with the co-op. It's the third year. They all know what we're kind of expecting. And um, yeah, we, yes, it's been really fun this summer. And so it is, it's sad to have to wait, but at the same time, if we can prepare for that much longer and they can stay excited, that's what we're trying to do now is yeah. keep that excitement and even though we have to wait it's still gonna come so after i said you know we're still excited we still have a season but remember now you can do something in the fall you can run you can golf um, so i definitely push them to be active i know of three girls who are uh, gonna explore the cross-country route uh, jokingly with liz i said you can have them for this season but you can't take them forever so it's hard to say all right now you have to you have to push you have to push till february you have to keep working you have to keep working in the weight room, you have to keep working on your speed and agility, and you have to keep touching the volleyball somehow. So uh, luckily we get some open gym uh, contacts between September and October, so that's exciting. I don't know if they'll open more up during that winter season or not, uh, but we will definitely take advantage of whatever contacts we can get and just keep the girls in the gym and keep them going.